So today we will be unboxing uh, one iPhone 5, white and silver, as you can see here. Um, as we open it, we'll be talking about um, the feel of the phone and some of the features that I can actually find on it. And um, I really hope you guys enjoy this as much as I will myself. Okay, so let's just make it quick. Um, I don't really have a tool for this one, so I'll just open the plastic at the bottom part and just so I can keep it in the box. And once I do that, I'll just take the whole thing down so it doesn't scratch the box. So, here we go. This is the phone itself. Let's see what pops out. Keep the plastic. And um, this is it. You just look at it. Once you grab it, you realize how light this thing is. I'm actually impressed because I've heard a lot about this being really light. But once you hold it, you realize the differences. Man, this is really light. It feels like one of those cheap phones, one of those dummy phones. A lot of people have said that. Once you hold this thing, oh my god, this is amazing. So, um, well, this one was just open and I just see a little chip on, on the edges here. It's a really beautiful phone. Um, one, when you look at it from the front part, it just looks like a regular iPhone 4. You can see mine's, which is wide as well, so you can compare. They look really alike, as you would expect, just a little longer. And um, the difference is on the edges. If you if you see my phone here, since the glass covers this part here, you don't get the nice touch, the silver touch right here on the edges, which is really nice. It looks really well. So. Uh, some other features on the phone. You see the buttons here as usual. It's, it's reduced in size SIM card tray now, which holds a nano SIM, uh, which is a little smaller than regular micro SIM. You see the ports have changed at the bottom part. You see now all you get is the, the, the earphone plug is at the bottom part, the 3.5 millimeter one. And then you have the lightning connector dock, which goes at the bottom part as usual. It's a lot smaller than what we're used to with the 27 pin one. And um, once you go to the back of the phone, you see there's a difference on the back. Now you don't have glass. It's aluminum. This can be good or it can be bad because aluminum has a problem with the scratches. Just like a regular iPod Touch. Um, this might get some scratches over time, just like the iPads uh, that also get scratches. So, if you have one of these phones or if you're planning on getting one, you need to get a case for it, definitely. And um, again, I'm impressed on how light this thing is. Let's see how it is in action. Let's take the SIM card out. Let's see, no, let's see the box, what else it brings. Um, so, if we, we keep going down in the box, we open it up, um, we see what we're expecting, the new earpods that Apple is including on this new phone, which are supposed to fit a lot better than the regular uh, headphones or earphones, I'm sorry, that we're used to from the other iPhones. And we have the regular stuff, uh, a charger, which is a lot smaller, a lot smaller, Oof, way more than I expected from what I saw in other videos and commercials. It's really small, you can see the head of the cable here, see how tiny it is. And as, as Apple promised, it fits either way, so you don't have the problems you used to have before. Oops. So, goes in, it's really tight, really secure, to actually turn on the phone, we'll get to that later. So, uh, we keep going down with the documentation that came out of the box, and um, 
let's see what we find. As usual, same style, just put a little cardboard here, which um, as you can see, this has the things that come along with the phone. You have the usual Apple stickers, we already know about these, and some other papers and stuff that usually come along with the phone. Um, this is a little different from other phones I saw online. I think Verizon version has one of those SIM card, uh, SIM card tray tools that remove the SIM card from the phone. But I guess since this phone is supposed to be locked or was locked to AT&T, it cannot be used, okay? So, uh, so let's see. Once I go through the activation process, Oh, should work like a breeze. I have to put this in part. It feels really good to the hand when, once you grab it, 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 it. You don't feel an extra need to, you know, to pull your finger like other smartphones. And it feels actually just really familiar to what you were used to. Not really much difference there. So, as I was telling you before, the first thing you can get once you have this phone in your hand is how light it is. It's incredibly light, I'd say it feels like half what the 4S weights when you hold it in your hand. Uh, when you see the screens, um, they look pretty much the same to me from what I see here. Um, the camera, they say Apple says they improved this camera a lot, making it uh, a lot easier and faster to take pictures with, better usage in dark places, I mean it has better, um, it takes better pictures in dark conditions. Um, that I will have to test a little further later on as I use the phone. Um, as you can see here, I'm going to take this out for you, um, it has a uh, SIM card here, which I will be removing so you can see how small the, the SIM tray is compared to the other one. See, this is a SIM card for an iPhone 4. Now, for an iPhone 4, a quick comparison on the size of the SIM card, as you can see, uh, the Nano SIM is kind of much half, a little less than half, a little more than half of what the micro SIM is. Mine is a little beaten up. So, pretty much. The nano SIM is the size of the, the microchip on the uh, on the micro SIM, and it's a lot thinner as well. So you'll have to use some sandpaper if you want to use it on a different phone. Um, I'll be cutting this off to check how it works later. I'll report on that, and uh, I guess this is pretty much it. Uh, same phone, It at the end of the day for me they look and feel pretty much the same, same of what you're used to, a little bigger screen, I don't know how that works in the real world, I'll be testing that and I'll be reporting back to you guys. So thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe if you like what you see. Um, please uh, follow me and um, we'll keep going, thank you for watching, goodbye.